How's it going guys? Joshua Lufemi here and we are here in beautiful Brisbane, Australia. In this video, we're going to be showing you 10 easy text effects that we're going to be doing right in Premiere Pro. I'm going to be giving you detailed step-by-step -step instructions for every single one. In this video, you're actually in for a great treat because there's two ways you can follow along. First, if you plan on starting from scratch, then no worries. You can basically apply any of these text effects to literally any piece of plain white text that you put in your timeline. Within literally seconds, you're gonna be able to build these fantastic effects from the ground up. Alternatively, for number two, you can try out our new text pack called 50 Subtle Text Animations. It's amazing. These are basically a bunch of just text mogarts with a bunch of really dope animations added to them. You're gonna be following the exact same instructions, but instead of building all these awesome text effects from just a static piece of text, you're going to be building these same effects on these awesome dynamically moving text animations. You will find the link to download this pack in the description below. Once you download this pack and it's up the folder, just drag all the Mogarts into your central graphics panel all in one go. It'll take like two seconds. We're here at beautiful Central Station, right in the center of the city. It's built in 1889. It's currently in need of some upgrades. I think they're currently doing a little construction. And just like this old train station, sometimes you need to breathe a little bit of new life into something. Take this plain piece of white text, for instance. Like this old station, it's functional, but I think we need to breathe a little bit of flair and color into it. This first effect that we're gonna work on is called the chromatic split. After you type out your text, go over to effects, then search for the VR chromatic aberration effect, then drag it on your clip. Now let's put this same effect using the same instructions on one of the 50 Mogarts in my text animation pack. This will simply give the effect a new refreshing and dynamic look. Go over to the essential graphics panel. If you don't see it here, go up to window and make sure it's checked. Then let's scroll down to typewriter text three. We'll change the font and then we'll go back to effects and drag over the VR chromatic aberrations effect onto this Mogart, just like before. Now let's watch it through. Beautiful. Across the street from Central Station is this beautiful pedestrian crossing. It's what they call crosswalks over here. This is kind of a special place for me. I've shot so many crazy random things here over the years. It's called a pedestrian scramble, which means once the light stops, all the lanes stop and pedestrians are able to cross from every side. Take a look at this text effect called soft glow. The soft glow effect just adds a special radiance to your project, encapsulating them with just a sense of warmth and tranquility. Once your text is typed out, go over to the effects tab and type in glow. We're gonna be using two types of glows in this effect. The VR glow, which gives you just a subtle glow in the background, as well as the alpha glow, which gives you a glow that more or less sticks to the actual text. As far as the alpha glow goes, make sure that the parameter for glow is at 25 and the brightness should be at 68. For the VR glow, make sure that the luma threshold is at 0.9, the glow radius is at 188, the glow brightness is at one, and finally, make sure that the glow saturation is at one as well. Now let's check out how this looks. All right, now let's take a look at this effect on one of my 50 Mogarts in my text animation pack. Guys, we have now arrived at Queens Plaza. This place has a bunch of luxury brands that you can go check out. I always walk past here, but I never buy anything. Take a look at this text effect called camera blur. The camera blur in effect kind of gives you a cinematic depth to your text. Use it for dramatic video intros, suspense-filled movie trailers, or any type of video project that's gonna require a focused, dramatic start. Welcome to beautiful Queen Street Mall. It is a premier shopping and lifestyle district here in the center of the city. And check out this sign over here. Text reveal is a really good way of revealing information without just overwhelming your viewers all at once. Perfect for product launches, educational videos, or step-by-step -step guides where suspense and engagement is key. After you've typed out your text, Go over to Opacity and then click on the Pen tool to make your mask. Begin to make your mask on the moving edge of the object in your scene that will serve as a wiping agent of the text. You will then keyframe your mask by going over to Mask Path and clicking on the stopwatch. Creating your first keyframe and then expanding the shape of the mask so that the right edge in this case continues to stick on the edge of the wiping agent, which is this guy's jeans. As you begin to expand the mask to follow the jeans, you will begin to see the text being revealed underneath. Make as many keyframes as necessary. We're now visiting historic City Hall, part of Brisbane's heritage. Now check out that flagpole over there. Now imagine the waving flag text effect. This effect actually brings a dynamic and patriotic flair, perfect for national events, sports promotions, or any type of event where you'd like to infuse some movement or energy. After you have your footage typed out, Go over to the effects panel and type in wave warp. Drag it onto your footage. 
Then go over to the effects controls panel and make sure that your wave type is on circle. Make sure that the wave height is on eight. The wave width should be at 144. The direction should be at zero degrees. This is very important. Make sure that the wave speed is at 0.3 and let's have a look at how this looks. All right, guys, welcome to King George Square, where the city's hustle and bustle starts to come alive. Now imagine the TV noise text effect. The TV noise text effect gives your text kind of like an analog and retro feel. It's great for any content that just requires a bit of nostalgia. Once you've typed out your text, go over to the effects panel and search for the effect called Wave Warp. Then drag it onto your text. Then go over to the effects controls panel and then change the wave type parameter to noise the wave height to five, the wave width to 40, and the direction to zero degrees. Leave everything else the same, and this is the resulting effect that you'll get. We're now here at the Brisbane Arcade, home to a number of boutiques and eateries. Check out the grand entrance right here. Let's actually apply the pixelated reveal effect right here. The pixelated reveal effect brings somewhat of a digital edge to your projects. Great for video game projects, tech-related content, or any modern digital-first brand. Once you've typed out your text, go over to the effects panel, then type out mosaic, then drag it over to your text. You're then going to animate that effect using keyframes. Go over to your effects controls panel, then click on the stopwatch for horizontal blocks, as well as vertical blocks. The first set of keyframes will be set to 10. This makes the blur really crazy and then the last set of keyframes will be set at 500. This brings the blur down to a point where it's almost indistinguishable. Next, you're gonna go back to the effects tab, and then you're gonna type in bevel. Drag the bevel edges thin effect onto your text. All this does is it gives your text a slight 3D look. As we play it through, you can see that the resulting animation is a beautiful pixelated blur in. Just a short stroll away, we have beautiful post office square, a calming historic oasis right in the middle of the city. There's a huge like underground mall here. People chill here in the park right behind me. And check out this flip down text effect. Flip down is a nostalgic nod to say old scoreboards, countdowns, any type of retro theme project or any type of project where you have kind of a, a time sensitive element to it. Once you have your text typed out, go over to effects and then search for basic 3D. Drag it onto your text. You're then going to keyframe the tilt parameter by clicking on the stopwatch and initially creating three keyframes. The first keyframe should always be at 90 degrees. Bring the second keyframe to negative 20 degrees so that the text is slowly overshooting, tilting straight down. And then the last keyframe should be at zero degrees so that the text is pointing straight down. The resulting effect looks like this. Hey guys, real quick, take a look at this. See this little dip in our attention graph? That is the absolute last thing that any YouTube creator would ever oh. wanna see. And it's often linked to, you guessed it, sponsored videos for products that you guys are just truly not really into. So this month, we're gonna ditch our sponsors. Instead, we have collaborated with some incredibly talented freelance creators to create products that our team has turned into some pretty incredible creative assets for your videos. So if you're keen to support this channel, we actually wanna give back by helping you elevate your creative work with this incredible product bundle. Here's what we've crafted for you. Our Cinematic Titles Packs, Volume 2 and Volume 3. These offer a combined total of 20 easy to use drag and drop Mogarts to make your titles stand out. Next is our TV and computer screens pack. These are perfect for adding an extra dimension to your videos, ensuring that both your A roll and your B roll really pop. Next is our podcast video pack. This pack is designed to make it super easy to showcase your podcast guests and to convert your podcast into a mobile format for YouTube Shorts, TikTok, or Instagram. We've also created the Reaction Video Pack, which functions in the same way, allowing you to easily display your guests, as well as the video that you're actually reacting to, and to quickly adjust it all for mobile format. And then there is our incredible VHS Pack. This is literally the most realistic VHS effects pack on the market. Why? Because it actually distorts the actual pixels of your footage like a real VHS playback would, instead of just being one of those cheap VHS effect overlays that you just put on top of your footage. Lastly included in this bundle is our incredible 50 subtle text animations pack, which you should already be using anyway as you're going through this tutorial. All of these packs valued at $399 are now available to you altogether for $97. But stick with us to the end of this video and we'll reveal a coupon code to allow you to get this entire bundle for only $49. Okay, don't forget this, back to the video. All right guys, we're here at South Bank. Tons of crazy delicious restaurants. This place packs out every Saturday for a farmer's market. We're gonna talk about the static wavy look. 
check it out right here. The static wavy look adds an interesting visual twist to your text. It would be ideal for like art exhibition promotions, music videos, or any project that wants to kind of break away from the norm and create an interesting visual experience. Once you have your text typed in, go back to the effects panel, search for turbulent displace, and drag it onto your clip. Now we're not gonna do any keyframing. You can then have a little bit more fun playing around with the different parameters, whether it be the amount, the size, or the offset turbulence so that you can craft a distorted look that is perfect for your branding. We are here at the beach. It's called South Bank Beach. They have these really cool ponds and pools that you can actually swim in, go underneath the water. Think about going underneath the water real quick and think about something called an underwater text effect. This effect evokes the calming, beautiful vibe of moving water. It's great for, say, wellness retreat ads or any type of content that evokes a vibe of tranquility. Once you've typed out your text, go over to the effects panel, then search for the effect called turbulent displace, then drag it onto your text, then go over to your effects controls panel, and then you're going to keyframe the offset turbulence parameter by first clicking on the stopwatch, and then you're going to create two keyframes. The first keyframe you're just gonna leave alone, but for the second keyframe, you're going to increase the X parameter. I've increased it by maybe 200 or 300, and this is the resulting effect that you get. It makes it look like your text is underwater. Now we're gonna apply this same effect using the exact same instructions to one of the 50 Mogarts in my text animations pack. The result is gonna be similar, but with just a bit of beautiful dynamic animation added to it. Go over to the essential graphics panel. We're gonna use fly in pop-up five. We're then going to change the text, and then we're gonna also change the font. We're then gonna go back to the effects panel and apply that same turbulent displace effect. And this is how it looks. We're here at the South Bank beach, right in the middle of the city, right on the edge of the water. This is my type of beach. Water is warm, water is shallow. No need to know how to swim. Check out the micro pixel glitch effect right here. This is a type of text effect that you'd use in a lot of sci-fi content, gaming videos, or any type of content that wants to evoke a sense of disruption or innovation. Once you've typed out your text, go over to your effects and search for block dissolve and drag it onto your text. Go over to the transition complete parameter and create two keyframes. Make sure that the first keyframe is at 100% and then make sure that the second keyframe is at 0%. Then go down to your effects library again and search for the effect called VR Chromatic Aberrations. Then drag it onto your text. You're then going to keyframe all three of the aberration parameters. As far as the first keyframe of all of these three parameters, make sure that it is set to the level of chromatic aberration that you'd like. For me, I have mine so that my red is at negative 10, my green stays at zero, and my blue is at positive 10. I then have my second keyframe of all three parameters set at zero. It's important that your second keyframe for all three parameters happens before the second keyframe of your block dissolve effect. You're then going to go back to your effects library and search for the VR digital glitch effect and drag it onto your text. You're then going to create three keyframes for the master amplitude parameter. The first keyframe should be at four, the second keyframe should be at 100, and the last keyframe should be at zero. Just like the last effect, it's important that the last keyframe of the mastered amplitude parameter of the VR digital glitch effect happens before the last keyframe of your block dissolve. This is the resulting effect. Behind me is the beautiful Brisbane skyline against the river. Locals call it the brown snake. And check out this text right here. We're gonna call this text with shadow. This effect gives your text somewhat of a 3D feel and makes it have a little bit of depth and stand out from any background. For this effect, I'm basically teaching you how to set a shadow on the ground below your text on any surface. Once you've typed your text out, duplicate your text by holding Alt and dragging up. We now wanna change the color of our text. You can do that by clicking over to the Edit tab in the Essential Graphics panel, clicking on Fill, and changing the fill to black. Now you're gonna to go to your effects panel, search for the effect basic 3D, and you're going to drag that onto your black piece of text. You're then going to change the tilt until it aligns with the surface that your text is sitting on, in this case, the sidewalk. You've now basically created a shadow. We're gonna perfect the look of the shadow though. Go over to your kerning feature and adjust the kerning until the shadow aligns perfectly with the white text above. Now go back to your effects library and search for camera blur. For now, let's adjust the percentage of the blur to be five. We may come back and adjust it later. I'm gonna adjust the tilt just a little bit. 
and then bring the blur back to two. And I think I like how that looks. I'm then gonna bring the opacity of this black text layer down to about 35%. And then I'm gonna go and adjust the position a little bit and voila, your white text now has a very realistic looking shadow. We're here on the river's edge and we're about to board the city cat. While we're at it, let's talk about the scrolling marquee text effect. Scrolls across your screen like headlines on a news ticker. This effect requires you to type out your text in a slightly different way. When you type out your text, type the text out multiple times until it's spread across the entire frame in the X direction. In this case, I'm typing out the word Olufemi about three times. After that, go over to the effects tab and then search for the effect offset, then drag that onto your text. Then you're going to keyframe the shift center two parameter by clicking on the stopwatch and creating two keyframes. Go then to the second keyframe and then decide what you wanna set your X parameter to. The higher that you set your X parameter to, the faster the resulting motion of this effect will be. Make sure that one keyframe is at the beginning of the clip and then the second keyframe is at the very end of the clip and this is the resulting effect that you'll get. This scrolling marquee effect I think is perfect for say an ad campaign. Hey guys, we're here on the city cat in the middle of the Brisbane River, one of the many forms of transportation here in town. Check out the casino that they're building here. Should be ready for the Olympics. I wanna talk about the TV scan text effect next. The TV scan kind of adds a touch of retro tech cool, perfect for vintage themed projects or tech tutorials. Once you have the text typed out, go over to the effects panel and then search for VR chromatic aberrations. Now drag it onto your text. Now go over to the effects controls panel. Make sure that the aberration red parameter is at seven. Make sure that the aberration green parameter stays at zero. And then make sure that your aberration blue parameter is at nine. Then go back to your effects panel and then search for the effect wave warp. Drag that effect onto your text. Then go back to the effect controls panel. Make sure that the wave type parameter is on square. Make sure that the wave height is set to four. Make sure that the wave width is set to 400 and make sure that the direction is set to zero degrees. This is very important. This is the resulting effect. What's up guys, we're here on the Victoria Bridge crossing the beautiful Brisbane River. It's a bus only bridge, so you can't actually drive on it. You can only walk or ride the bus. Let's talk about the chromatic sheen text effect. Once you've typed out your text, you're gonna duplicate it by holding down Alt and dragging up. Then you're going to click on that top text. Then you're going to search for the effect in your effects library called VR Chromatic Aberrations, and you're gonna drag it onto your top text. Then go over to your effects controls panel and then set the parameter for aberration red at negative three, leave the aberration green, and then you're going to set the aberration blue parameter at five. Change the fall off distance to 99. Now you're going to go back to your effects library and then search for the effect called Alpha Glow. And then you're going to again drag it onto that top text. Set the glow parameter to 21. Set the brightness parameter at 209. Then you're gonna go into opacity and create a square mask. Give the mask a little bit of a feather. I have mine at 129. Keyframe the mask path by clicking on the stopwatch, adjusting the mask so that it's all the way on one end of the title, then create another keyframe and then adjust the mask so that it goes to the opposite end of the title. What you end up seeing is this beautiful animated sheen that goes across the original white text. Each of these text effects that we've talked about today, guys, can really help to bring your footage to life. Really transforming ordinary text to incredible, dynamic, beautiful looking content that really suits the mood and message of your project.